Hello. Quick shots part 13. Um, it's about um, making grass or um, hair, for example. Something like this. I go to the Nomad app. I crashed it. Uh, <laughs> um, I delete this uh, sphere. Um, and um, for example, you can start with a few uh, basic primitives. Um, you can reduce, uh, for example, um, this uh, cone and uh, reduce the radius and adjust the height. And I change the orthographic view is on. Um, and you can validate it. And you can use this as a, a single hair, for example. This is uh, one primitive you can use. Um, you can use everything you want. Uh, you can use um, um, a tube um, or something else. Um, but I um, do it with a, a plane. I bring the plane in, in, the, in the top view um, and I wanted to change it to the, um, I change the rotation to 90 degrees and I bring it to the front view. And we have to adjust the topology um, with the division for the x axis is one and um, we change the, the size a little bit. Uh, you can also do it here uh, on the screen with the, uh, with the handles. Um, it's also possible. I think um, this is okay for a grass leaf. I think it's a name for it. Um, and we can validate it. I try it again. Uh, I use the mask tool. Um, I mask this point at the top and use the gizmo. I hope now um, there's something wrong again. Front view, mask. And I mask this point at the top. I Okay, I hope now. Uh, change to the gizmo and yes, now it works. Um, okay, we can hold the mask button and swipe and the mask is clear. Um, in this point you can um, adjust, adjust it a little bit. You can use the move tool um, but um, I think the drag tool is a little bit better. Um, we can make it here a little bit. Uh, some variations. You can adjust it also later on. Okay, I think it's fine. We can give it a color. Green. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Green. Okay. And the whole work is um, to do um, some kinds of clusters. Um, in the scene menu you can um, duplicate it 
and with a gizmo you can bring it in position. Uh, you can scale it a little bit and uh, bring it here and um, you can change the rotation and give it a little bit of rotation and we can show the plane and we can use also um, the symmetry tool uh, to um, to bring some leaves inside. We can use the symmetry here also and scale it here a little bit and bring it in position and uh, you can adjust it here and when you're fine you can also try uh, to change um, the axis later. Um, when you have this you can um, simple merge them and and now you can duplicate it again and you can give it a rotation for example of 90 degrees and uh, bring it like this uh, and simple merge it again. Okay, this is a small cluster and you can use the symmetry, um, you can um, on the bottom of this menu says gizmo edit, you can uh, use it uh, like this um, and bring it in position. Oh, we have to change the rotation a little bit and when you go to the front view and a little bit of adjustment uh, and now you can use the symmetry tool to bring uh, it again here in position and now you can duplicate it again and bring it here in position. You can change uh, the fuse uh, sometimes a little bit um, Okay. You can simple merge it again. You can bring here uh, variations. Uh, in you can duplicate it again, and um, you can rotate it. Uh, for example, uh, forty-five degrees, um, and simple merge it again. And now we can turn off uh, the plane to see it clearer. Um, this is a, a cluster from grass or, uh, for example, hair. Um, we can now add a sphere, for example. Um, bring it here. I move the origin, okay, and I switch to the plane and move origin again, that um, everything is in the in the center. And now we can bring it here and bring it in position. Um, I have to change the rotation. Okay, you can rotate it a little bit and bring it here. And now we can use again the symmetry, um, show the plane, and you can mirror it. And you can also use um, another X axis um, and remember the gizmo edit is on 
Um, you can bring it off and set it local, for example, and add it again. Um, and you can test it. Um, or you can make it manually um, and um, duplicate it um, and bring it again in position. Gizmo edit is off. Now you can bring the parts in position and um, you can always simple merge it again and um, uh, duplicate it um, to be faster. Simple merge. Then you, you can change the view, for example, and duplicate it again. Bring it over, rotate it a little bit, for example you can try um, um, again a symmetry uh, or um, a mirroring and it's a combination of all um, tools to bring this in position. But the more hair you have, uh, the faster it goes. Um, okay, and uh, when you're on this point, um, you can use, uh, um, for example, the drag tool. Uh, to adjust the hairs, uh, you can turn the symmetry off and you can <laughs> give it a, a haircut. Um, and now um, you can, all, it's, it's easy to duplicate it again and um, use a gizmo uh, to bring a little bit rotation in it. Um, and make some adjustments. You can scale it a little bit uh, or shrink it a little bit down and bring it in position. And with every step um, the hair grows. <laughs> okay, um, I duplicate it again. change the view a little bit, bring it in position, rotate it a little bit and um, test it if everything is okay. And now it becomes hairy. And um, the poly count is uh, relatively low um, and oh, I, I don't validate the, um, um, the cube um, because um, it's Adjusting the hair is relatively mm, easy to make. And you can also um, uh, br uh, paint it. Uh, for example, uh, we change the color to brown or to, for example, to red. Um, paint is on. The brush, I think the brush is okay. Uh, and now you can give it a color. And you can smudge it and okay. And you can test um, um, subdivision uh, 
you can test it uh, if you need it. Um, but um, yeah, it's not not necessary. Okay, have fun with sculpting. Ciao.